Hey, it's Lena here. I'm a singer and a producer. But apart from making music, I also love to present stuff. So today I present you the new limited Microfreak vocoder edition. Let's see what it's all about right now. Microfreak has been one of your favorite digital synthesizers since the moment it came out, and it became even better as Arturia is constantly adding more value to this freaky hybrid instrument. Following the 2.0 update, which enriched Microfreak with the noise engine, this newly released special edition adds a new vocoder oscillator type with a sleek gooseneck mic to enrich your sequences with some fresh vocal ideas. The special white edition will include a gooseneck microphone in the box. However, if you just want to use the vocoder engine with your current Microfreak, you can obviously use a headphone and a microphone headset with the TRRS 3.5mm jack. The included microphone or headset should be plugged into the headphone's output. Simple as that. Now let's have a closer look at the newly introduced vocoder engine to see what it can do. It's placed at the end of the oscillator menu. To find it, simply turn the type knob fully to the right. The controls let you tweak a number of typical vocoder parameters. Wave knob serves as the waveform selector, which is used as the carrier of the vocoder. I am here to show you how the waveform works. Timber knob, on the other hand, shifts the frequency range of the analyzed and resynthesized signals, going from 1 to 100. Shape parameter, on the other hand, changes the bandwidth of each filter. Higher settings here will produce a narrower filter frequency response. Singing and playing at the same time with vocoder on usually requires some real skills to be able to do it well. However, Microfreak Vocoder Edition takes care of that complex machinery and provides simple tools for everyone to enjoy their vocoding process. To have some fun with this new sound engine, simply set your desired scale in the utility menu and go up and down the keyboard to find some cool melodies that will fit your style. Because Microfreak is paraphonic, you can also harmonize the vocoder with some extra chords. This one is a great way to create some really beautiful vocal textures. Can you see Speaking of chords, let's check out Microfreak's chord mode. You can use it with the vocoder too. Just press and hold the paraphonic button while picking the notes of your chord. Then play the chords with just one finger while you sing along. Oh, and don't forget, you can use the hold option to keep your notes held while you focus on delivering the perfect vocal performance. Next up in the long list of possibilities with Microfreak Vocoder, we'll be focusing on the arpeggiator and sequencer functions. I'm sure that many of you will be pleased about the fact that you can easily integrate all the arpeggiator and sequencer features with the vocoder engine and your voice. To create some funky rhythmic vocals, simply turn the arpeggiator on, set its octave range at 2, pick the random pattern, select the hold on, trigger a note, and start singing. Yay. 
And yes, you can use the chord mode to create even crazier arpeggiated vocoder chord patterns. To do that, simply program a chord and then repeat all of the actions described above in the arpeggio example. Turn it on, set the octave range, pick a pattern, press hold, and you're ready to go. Don't forget that you can adjust your sound with the arpeggiator time division change, loudness envelope settings, and of course, spice and dice. If you're still not convinced, although I am, wait till you combine the vocoder features with the flexibility of the sequencer. As mentioned before, Microfreak's various ways of inputting notes allow you to play the vocoder in many different ways. Programming a sequence and then singing on top of it makes this experience even more dynamic and interesting. To do this, simply program a simple sequence in the real-time recording mode. The sequencer notes will pick up and follow your voice. <laughs> To spice things up, you can add some LFO modulation on the cutoff of the filter or use the spice again to deconstruct the sound. To top it all off, you can use all of the mod matrix routings, just like in any other microfreak oscillator mode. Experiment with the cycling envelope and the LFO to modulate wave, timbre, and shape parameters to produce various unique effects. Fun guaranteed. <laughs> To complement the new engine functions, there are a few additional settings that you might want to adjust. To find those, press the utility button and then scroll down until you find the mic settings. Here you'll find the mic gain range that goes from minus 12 dB to plus 59 dB, with the outer gain as the default choice. Another option lets you set the noise gate that ranges from being completely off to 90 decibels. The highly recommended value to use is the minus 70 decibels, which is set by default. Last one here is called mic detection. When on, it will inform you that you need to plug the microphone in whenever you will pick the vocoder preset or just pick the vocoder engine when starting from scratch. As I mentioned before, the new vocoder engine is also available as an update to the original gray microfreak. The installing process takes only a few seconds. Let me show you how to do it. Step one, go to arturia.com, find the firmware update file on the product page. Step two, plug your microfreak to your computer. Step three, download the file and open it with the newest version of the MIDI control center. Step four, wait a few minutes and you're ready to go. The new firmware will also bring 16 new vocoder presets. Simply use a headset or plug your own microphone to start using it. That's it for this one. Arturia designed the new vocoder with creativity and experimentation in mind. So whether you have the regular Microfreak or the vocoder edition, I'm sure the new engine will spark some great new ideas and engage you in some freaky new ways. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. <laughs>